September. It's the 30th of September and it's the London Tattoo Convention 2018 and I'm um, with some good friends Loretta and Aya. Uh, how are you today? I'm good. How are you, Paul? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. And really what I want to talk to you about is many things, but more importantly, the new Barber book. Can you tell me a little bit how it came about and what well, was your interest? Uh, yeah, it's a story that started 30 years ago. I was on holiday in Morocco with Felix and Adja, who was just 13 at the time. Uh, we were in our van, a VW van, and we were traipsing around Spain and Morocco sleeping out and uh, cooking our own meals and all that um, so and then we started to run into some of these ladies who were heavily tattooed with Moroccan with Berber designs mm. and we had never seen any um, Moroccan people or Berber people with such extensive tattoos because they had tattoos all around here down the neck you know going down to the breast uh, uh, around the ankles, mm. uh, the lower legs, full arms. Uh, till then, we'd only seen Moroccan ladies with like a little yeah. symbol here or here. So we got interested and we stayed in that area and we started to uh, try to meet some of them and find out a bit more about it. So uh, it was actually, you know, Felix said, okay, let's get organized. We bought a little notebook to take notes and uh, some plastic sticky paper like they use now for yeah, drawing on uh, so that I could trace hmm. the designs. And we just had a little camera. And they were very susceptible to that. They let you do it all. And was it religious significance to them? Did they get their tattoos? Or? Well, uh, as we so we we got ourselves somebody who could translate for mm. us because of course they didn't speak. Yeah, of course. Cool, uh, it was all uh, people who lived in the countryside, in the mountains, um, farmers, yeah. and uh, mostly women. And uh, as we started to find out, and that's what's in the book because I've written down just their answers really I tried not to put my own uh, yeah, cool, so cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. spin on it uh, at that sometimes it was religious sometimes Aya is actually very mm. almost as knowledgeable even though she wasn't on the trip but yeah, she yeah. did all the drawings when we oh, came yeah, back yeah, it's fantastic yeah. Thank and you. Really fantastic. Uh, that, you know. she read through all the material over and over and tried to figure out all the designs yeah. Yeah. and everything from what we that's why I wondered if it was like religious or <coughs> what, you know. sometimes yeah and uh, sometimes I think they didn't know anymore because it was all older women mm. younger women didn't do it anymore because mm. uh, there was a big change when when uh, how you say Islam came yeah, to the yeah. area yeah yeah everybody had to uh, convert yeah but the Berber people they're very like they kept their own traditions well, even they know, though they nomadic? Like, they uh, around, not they? anymore so no, much well, they used to, but yeah. they were yeah uh, now as I say the ones we met and and they were really nice to us all of them they, they all let us sleep there they all you know yeah, fed yeah. us made lovely meals they were farmers, simple, yeah. simple people. Was it people. mostly on the women, though? Did, was the men yes. tattooed? Or, or it was mostly the women. We met a couple of men where they had uh, a, a symbols on their hand. There's a couple in the book uh, that I... Because uh, when we came... Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> I was no, getting, right, right. Well, when we came back to London, no, to London, to Switzerland, uh, we just had these snapshots, we had these tracings mm. that they, they let me do because I was a woman, I think. Yeah, yeah. Made it easier. You know, I don't know if they would have been that easy if Felix mm. had been the one. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Uh, and they actually were very happy that we were asking all these questions. Yeah. You could see, because for years, the younger people, their people, had been telling them this was bad. Yeah. Tattooing was bad. So here we come along. And we try to get across to them, not only that we're interested in their tattoos, but that we're <laughs> tattooed. So we're showing them and we tried to explain to them that in our part of the world, uh, it was kind of the other way around, yeah. you know, that young people like tattoos. Yeah. It was maybe the older ones who didn't like it so much. So they, I, I could yeah. feel they actually yeah. loved it. Did too. you actually tattoo them? Uh, Felix did a couple of tattoos. There was a couple of the younger Hmm. <coughs> daughters of the yeah. family we visited uh, 
And there's are photos in the in, in the, the book. book as well. I was surprised that he done it with machines, though, was it? Yeah, that's what they they yeah. wanted. They they yeah. were interested they liked, they liked by it, that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we had a little traveling yeah. kit yeah. that yeah. Felix always put together uh-huh. with, you know, um, his all us dinosaurs power. know about. Yeah. Felix, oh my God! You know? Yeah, <laughs> and they they wanted what the tattoos he did. They weren't the traditional ones. He no, he actually no, he actually did a his own version of yeah. a Berber yeah. Yeah. design on Good their freedom. arm. Yeah, 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 no, it wasn't yeah. like a, yeah. a bird or and they something. Were happy with that, weren't they? No, no, they were very happy. He did a little one on my leg just to demonstrate on my ankle to yeah. show them the yeah. machine. Yeah, you yeah know? I was going to say, I bet it yeah. freaked them out the machine. Yeah, so. yeah, and I had a little one done by one of the girls by hand. Still, yeah. There. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all yeah. faded and everything because yeah. she'd actually never done it before. Well, that's the beauty of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you know, she yeah. only knew how to do it from her mother. Her mother yeah. had explained her how to do it. Yeah. And at first she didn't want to do it, and I kept saying, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. then she finally did it. For the first time, I know it's good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. no. And it's interesting there that, that from from what you met there, all the tattoo artists were all women. Yes, the ones who, when we found out, because we'd say, you know, at what age did you get it done? How did they do it? What was the technique? And who did it? And And those women, that they also would have been um, midwives, the herbalists, the, not all maybe, but the, no, uh, and the the tattoo artists. Absolutely. It's interesting, it's like in India with the women tattooing tradition. It's very interesting that the women are yeah bearers of it you know yeah and they actually carry these designs because like in morocco we were told the one the women who were very good at it because hmm. even there there was some you could see it some had been better at yeah, it than yeah, others yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? and they had a particular style and i noticed that you when i was redrawing or taking yeah. the materials from the the you know what notes yeah. and sketches that they brought back and photographs my That's thing what I was, was going to ask you. Did, was, did you to, find it a challenge, any of the artwork? I, well, I found it. Well, what was interesting was that as I was doing the drawings, I realised there is a style that mm. I could recognise. That woman was that tattoo artist, and that was how she evolved. You know the yeah, symbols yeah. and, yeah, and yeah. the way her designs were, and so I'd start to recognise them. Yeah. And the photographs were they were colour, weren't they? Because it was yeah, the but they were not very. Yeah, yeah. It was just little but, snapshots. Yeah. Yeah, you know? course, yeah. So the portraits to me were amazing because I wasn't there on that trip, but they, no. I got a sense. Of, of the women yeah. and their characters and faces I wonder if from, it was from, doing the from village to village did it change would you say well it's, it? it wasn't a large well, area was it really no you the went, area we saw yeah. as I yeah. say we spent maybe three weeks in mm. this area yeah. and uh, the family who invited us to stay with them they helped us meet some of these women. They would, yeah. you know, find out. They'd say, "Oh, yeah, there's an old aunt." You'd have to have been trusted. They, they knew that you was they into took it. You know, there, yeah. yeah. Well, you, you ended up living with them. Didn't oh, yeah, you? yeah. We lived with them. Yeah, we, so you know, we, we ate with them. Other, we lived yeah. with them, and yeah. uh, went to the beach with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait, and just, just a little fascinating there. insight of your time with you and Felix there. Like the book, everyone should get it just to see about the times you travelled around. Yeah, because I mean you extensively travel around, and we need to keep this history alive, don't we? You know? It's more that you, if that wasn't like documented now, you no wouldn't. One would know. I think it's know that. I wouldn't know I that. that was, I know yeah. there's still tattooing yeah. going yeah. on. It's I've, I've googled so, it on yeah. the internet. I know there's people doing tattoos now, younger people. Yeah, yeah. There's shops and this and yeah. that. But I think this this tradition of the what these old ladies yeah. were wearing. Yeah. I mean, I think that's not trying to blame the trumpet. I know a lot about history, but if it wasn't for your you book, I wouldn't have known anything about the barber people. Well, same thing. If it great, wasn't for their trip, really I wouldn't have known. And we yeah. need to keep this alive. Look, you know? I'm re- and I'm really grateful to Aya because <laughs> I've had these notes <laughs> yeah. and and her drawings sitting in a box. Yeah, but she's for a wonderful artist. But she gets all shy. No, but yeah. I've had all this sitting <laughs> in a box for yeah. thirty years. I'm still learning. I could never. I don't know why. I never got it together to finish it. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, well, a year but or two ago, Aya said to me, why don't I help you and yeah, let's do it? And because uh-huh. she's now also publishing books, yeah. besides being a great artist, she's also a book publisher. Well, you're, <laughs> you're, well, great they, artist. you're living in Ireland now, yeah? I live in yeah. Ireland where, yeah, I do, I do my artwork there. Yeah. My and you've got to do a book artwork. on Felix. It's got a book well, well, come what, about that's Felix. Well, we're yeah. on to our How next project. Guess. That's our <laughs> next project. <laughs> Yeah, it'll but be, I mean, it'll yeah. be at least a year, but yeah, yeah that's our next project. It's a big project, isn't it? But it's, it's great. Our pro- yeah. Did I tell you yesterday about it already? No. no. Uh, oh, someone just... was talking about it. Oh, yeah. you see, it's yeah. going around already. Yeah. <laughs> well, everyone wants to see it. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's going to be just Felix's tattoo art, mm. not what we, uh, I would say, his fine art. Yeah, you yeah. know, he has a different style. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. So just a flash and things for tattooing. 
starting with Goa, because I, I have some old sketchbooks from uh, like 78, Because you're a fantastic artist as well. I mean, you, you yeah. know. I'm okay. I'm okay. The whole, the, whole, <laughs> the whole family are artists, aren't they? I think she's better, and I mean, it's I hard to say yeah, better. It's hard but to it's say better. better every, you know, it's it's style, apple, yeah, apples yeah, yeah. and oranges. You yeah, know. Of course, yeah. <laughs> but you do, for Felix, you'd maybe start with the beginning for him would be Jock, wouldn't it? In London. Oh yeah, the absolutely. Early days, There'll yeah. be a couple of pages of yeah. whatever yeah. photo I have. But Jock of always talked and, very highly of all yeah. of you, you know. And that's another thing. I mean, right. even Lyle said he might still find some stuff for me. Anything you can you come across. Yeah, yeah. Where Jock might have said something about Felix. Yeah, because I've got a tape <laughs> of Jock talking about Felix. But he's so it's you. I thought it was Lyle. No, I've Sorry. got the tapes. I've got ah. the tapes. I've got video tapes of me. And I used to sit, like we're doing now, I'd sit yeah, down with a tape yeah, recorder. Yeah, yeah. So I used to go to Jock's yeah, every Monday, yeah, every Monday and Wednesday. Yeah, right. And I'd sit there and put the tape recorder on. Well, well but, what year was that then? Uh, <laughs> Well, I first met Jock about 1981. Oh, okay, so it was so, after Felix. After you, because yeah. Jock, Jock always told me the story. He got Felix to paint his studio, but I yeah, know yeah, it was. Yeah. But I know it was painting his eyes. <laughs> but Jock used to try and make it sound out. Like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah well, we found, I found a photo. I think it was of you, Loretta, with the uh, T-shirt Felix yeah, yeah, designed for Jock. Yeah, 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 that would be in the book. It's a hand-drawn T-shirt. It's a captive job. It's like the he painted the front door, didn't he? The eagle. Yeah, 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 I've got a photo of that. Yeah, yeah Lyle's yeah. giving me a photo. I just wonder where it all went when but, it, you know. Well, oh, well, that building yeah. yeah, but I wonder yeah. who, who had it, if anyone had it, or it just got ripped uh, down. I don't you know. I think it got ripped down, you know. But for me, um, Jock, being a little kid, when I would have met him going to the shop, unforgettable, just, yeah. you know. Didn't he used know, to take his teeth out to he scare was, you? To me, he was loud and scary, <laughs> <Yeah>. and you <laughs> wouldn't mess around in his shop. <laughs> well, I've got a tape of Jock. I've done it in 1985, and he was saying then, Philip's going to be the best tattoo artist in the world. Really? And Philip would have, I don't know, Philip was born in 67 in Paris. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so he, he would have only... only yeah, uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11... Yeah, no, but he was saying yeah, then in 85, yeah. you watch this yeah. young boy. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. he was saying that, and I've got yeah, it on the tape. Yeah. I'll dig the tapes out and send yeah. you them anyway, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'd love, or even just little yeah. bits of... Yeah. But Jock yeah. always talked very, talk very highly of the family. Hey, we, did, we did keep in touch a little bit. And, you know, yeah, I must even have some letters. I have a folder where I used to keep... Yeah any letters from tattoo friends and so on. So I think uh, I remembered the other day that I must have some letters yeah, he Jock was, wrote He was definitely a character. Point. He would have been nice to have got on video. Oh, he was, he was but that's what I mean now. He's already took a lot of history with yeah, him, didn't he? So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, uh, but uh, I saw some, I don't know, I think it must have been on, on, on one of your DVDs mm. of Jock talking. It was a snippet oh, yeah, that, off a TV yeah, thing. Yeah, Tim Pounds, when we done that I money can't remember. Five. There's one where he's talking about. Sorry, we're getting a bit off the subject. That's here. all right. We can't. <laughs> it's, it's the tattoo. I know the tattoo because ta some they say to him, uh, "Can you see? What do you see the future of tattooing?" And he says, "No one will be getting moon rockets tattooed on their ass. It'll always be roses and right. love arts." I don't know. If so, I don't <laughs> yeah. know that's I great. Yeah. What do you think of it? Oh. Now? Well, what I remember him talking yeah. about facial tattooing and, and, and what, uh, what a bunch of idiots yeah. and the really? people who yeah. did it were a fucking idiot. Yeah, I don't know what he would say. To Jock, Jock used to say to me, me, facial tattoo is terrible garbage, I have nothing to do with it. Then a woman called Bootsy used to come in yeah. and she had all boots tattooed on her face, you know, with yeah, yeah. and uh, he'd be chattering away and I used to think, hang on, <laughs> you're just telling me it's a, you know what I mean? Uh, maybe he figured if she had them anyway. Yeah, no, she but he would tattoo her wants, face yeah. and he'd say, to, yeah, oh, I think it's garbage, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so but did he, he have a lot of apprentices, like people who nah. want to learn? No, or but or a lot of people went to him because... Well, no, Lal was there for a bit. Yeah, uh, uh, Andy Barber worked there, I worked yeah. in there. The first day I ever went in there, he said, who are you? I said, I'll do a bit of tattooing in my bedroom. At that. He said, right, anyone comes in, you chat on the day, and he went out for the day, and he came back about six o'clock. And I was all nervous, I'd only been tattooing about three weeks, but luckily I talked people out of it when they came and I said, no, he's not around. Yeah. But that was the first time yeah. he went out. And how old were you? you I was about years, 18, 19, yeah. and uh, he had left all his gear there yeah. and his money and all that. Yeah. He was this bloke. <laughs> No, it was good. And he, he came back about six o'clock. Yeah. And he said, did you do anything? I said, no, no one come in. No. <laughs> but, but anyway, thank yes. you very much for Hey, thank this. you. And I wanted to say that I think it's a really good thing you're doing with, thank these, you. yes, with these DVDs. Well, we just love the history, you know. And yeah. I think it's great. It's no. like our book. Uh, it's keeping it alive. Yeah. Otherwise, Well, like I say, you know, I would never have known about it. This, yeah. this part of the history. Yeah.